What is going on guys? We are back on the Primus server and I got really good feedback from you guys on the build. So we are going to be finishing this up today and doing a little bit of housekeeping as you could call it. Uh, it's more like woods keeping actually. But uh, what we're going to do today is most likely finish the terraforming around this area and most likely chop down a lot if not all of the trees in uh, a certain area around the house and replant them. And the way I want to do it is I want the pathway to, I'm going to probably put down a lot more dirt for the pathway uh, now that I have a general sense of where it's going to go and make it really densely wooded anywhere that there isn't a path. So we're going to do that. I also am cooking up some stone to blend in with uh, this dirt here. Um, one last thing I wanted to do, and I was thinking about this yesterday was I actually need a place to legitimately mine around here because I'm not going to set up a quarry for a little bit as is. Uh, so what I was thinking is if I dig this back far enough, and I think this is about as far as I'm going to dig, uh, I need some more smooth stone that I'm actually cooking up in here. Yeah, I'm going to cook up a little bit more possibly. Actually, no, this, this should be good enough for now. Uh, but if I dig this further back, I can put a second uh, support beam in and actually... What I'm thinking is I'm going to trail off to this side right here, and I guess I can start trailing here actually, and we'll have the second support beam in, and this will trail like down a little bit into a lower mine area, and then it'll, so it's hard to explain, but basically this will kind of curve out, and then it'll go to a ladder where I can go down to my actual mine, and I think that'll, uh, I think that'll look kind of cool. the the big i or the big thing is getting this to actually look correct. Uh, so that's something I wanted to work on during the episode today. Uh, the main problem I would have is actually getting this to look like it goes along with this whole theme here. So I have some more fences, and I also should replace this torch. So let's finish this wall right here. Oh, damn. Oh, damn it. Whatever. We cook with energy, not coal, so I don't mind losing some. Okay, so let's say it's like that. And then how far back do we want to place this? Maybe like right... Let's actually just put it... No, that's too close to the back wall. We'll put it one up, so right here. This will be where the support beam ends. So it'll be like that, and then we can throw the torch right there. So come up here, and... I think something that I I could probably do is I don't know if I want this to be more of a jagged kind of curve or if I want it to look like an actual mine shaft. I kind of like the jagged curve a little bit more. So you could kind of like come back in here and probably like right here you could have it. Cut that out. So it would be like right in here, we'd have our little ladder. So I'll cut a hole just as an example spot. And that'll be where we go down. So now we can work around this. Yeah, I like the way that looks. The main thing is I actually kind of want to put a little bit of a wall here so that this connects to the wall. So I may... Hmm. Uh... You guys probably could see what I mean. How like these connect to the walls and then that one doesn't connect right here. So we could always do this and then kind of combine it on our own and then cut a little bit more out of this portion. Line up this stuff right here. Should do it do a little bit of our own terraforming. The thing is I don't know if I'm giving myself a wide enough gap to enter right here and I want it I want it to look a little jagged okay I think that's actually good right like that and then we'll we'll add some stuff like like some of that some of that good stuff and then you'll just come back in here and the little drop down will be there so let's take a look at that yeah okay I like the way that looks so now what we gotta do is we gotta finish off this back wall here uh, so the other day, I actually had a pretty good idea of how 
how I wanted it to look the other day. I'm hoping I can get that back because I don't exactly remember how I had this built. Uh, Got to get the right micro blocks in here this time. Hmm. Guessing I had a little something like that. Maybe some of that going, some of that action going on. And it's basically, for me, it's just like, throw down a block, put some of these little guys, little guys around it, see how it looks. And if I like it, we just go with it. We take it, we run. Yeah, okay, so I like the way that turned out. Now I gotta go back in with some of these, because I messed around with some of these regular stone blocks a little bit. So I had some on the ground like that. I uh, got another one of these so we can throw down somewhere. Put it down there. And we can actually, yes, we have our saw on us. Good, good. And I want some more of these thin slabs. Cool. I usually, I usually feel like you guys probably don't like this, but I thought, why not? Let's show it. Let's show the people how it's done and we gotta throw some cobble in the ground here too I've been forgetting to do that mix some cobble in randomly like like they've been picking away at it a little bit but haven't really broken through and that's the logic I have with this is like if you were to come in here in real life like what would a mine shaft look like because I don't actually think that that minecraft mine shafts are are an accurate like depiction I guess like you know, how much do they actually need to look like mine shafts, but, you know, what. I also think it would be really cool to add some cobwebs in this portion, like this was an abandoned portion of it. Maybe not light it up as much as out here. Uh, so, that'll be there. I wish there was a better way to light this than just using, like, a torch. Pillars, these are the ones that I like. Nope, that's the one we want. Good. Sorry if it's a little dark in here for you guys. Uh, it looks fine for me, but I know that it might look a little bit different when you're watching it through a video. Hmm, nope, that is not where we want that. That is not where we want that. Oh my god, I'm so bad at that. Okay, just like that. Yeah, <laughs> got it. I got it, don't worry. then get a little bit going there um oh so one thing i wanted to talk to you guys about uh is my girlfriend came over today and unfortunately she is sick and she hasn't seen me since she went away for christmas break so i really didn't want to not see her today so i might get sick i really don't think i will but i might so I just wanted to let you guys know, but there's like a 99% chance that I won't get sick. So I don't really think that is uh, something we need to worry about. Okay, I'm liking the way the way this is turning out here. This is looking solid, rock solid. <laughs> oh my God, that's almost as bad as that pun that Brink got. I don't know if you, if you guys didn't see that. Uh, in one of the episodes, Brink posted like. Rage is sprucing up the place, and that that was almost so bad it made me want to like get sick. It was almost that bad, like it was one of those puns. So, Brink, if you're watching, yeah, work on that, you know, a little bit. Just a suggestion, you know, you don't have to. It's okay if you don't want to. Just just don't don't say it. This one's my favorite part. I like doing this a lot. Um, hmm. I actually don't like putting it on the side there because that leaves very little space to mess around with the top here. And we need smaller pieces. Uh, oh, you know what we should do first? Well, while we're working on this, I just remembered. Oh, it's raining out. Great. I am going to need 
my axe. We're gonna need some more saplings. And so I'm thinking if we grow a big tree and then just hack it down, it'll be good. This is big enough for area, right? There we go. Haha. -ha. And watch the magic, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man. It gives so much wood. Yeah. So we'll just get a buttload of saplings from that and I'll go out and collect them in a little bit. So now that we have the smaller pieces, we can really just go to town on this. That's fine. Um I want to get some in here. I really like the way it looks and it doesn't interrupt when you're walking. So basically as good as you're going to get. Um Oh, you know what? We need a medium-sized piece for that, too. Just to... Oh, shit. That was the wrong one. You know what? Can we recombine those? Yes, we can. We gotta cut it downwards. Nice. Okay. So, like, that. That's what, the, what we wanted. What about up here? That's good enough. And can we mess with anything else? Yeah, we can throw, throw a little bit more of this stuff down. Um, detail never hurt anyone. So that's the back mining way. It's almost a little bit too cluttered back here. I'm going to get rid of these. Just kind of like seeing those. I'm going to get rid of these. Let's take a look at that now. Yeah. Okay, I like the way that looks. So you walk back in there. And the ladders will be right there. And then... I don't really feel like mining this all the way down right now, so we'll do that later. And in here, we need to cook up more cobble. So, up, oh, see here? Here comes the raining saplings. Wow, okay, most of that is despawned. Hopefully none of it gets stuck up there. But we're going to need the saplings because I am going to go off camera in a minute and I'm gonna chop down a lot of these trees and replant the saplings and hopefully you know what we'll do before we go off camera is we're gonna sleep through this rain because the rain is really starting to get on my nerves happened last episode and it's happening right now okay should be good do we have any torches in here we do indeed we have one torch which is all we need nice and I'll fill out the path a little bit more, and I'll see what you guys think about about everything. Okay, nice. So I'll see you guys in a bit after I've deforested this whole place. So, Okay, guys, so I just wanted to come up to this little peak up here and show you all the trees I've chopped down. It's a, a decent-sized circle around the base, uh, just because I want to test out things. So... I need to wait for the leaves to despawn first, but what I want to do is actually make the paths uh, not out of different blocks, but I want to make a lot more, uh, I want to make them like a lot more dirt-like. Um, so we're going to use the happy dirt, which I need to make more of, and I'm just going to use a buttload more dirt so they'll look like they're uh, more traveled on. So do we have a shovel on us? No, we don't. Is there a shovel in here somewhere? Yes, there is. Phenomenal. Whoops, that was already happy dirt. So I guess we can start with the pathway up here. And I'm just going to cut out all this and make it, make it happy dirt. And we'll see, we'll do this and see how it looks. It may be too much, it may not look good. We may have to mix some different dirt in with it. Yeah, I'm thinking we might, we might need some different dirt. So a trick that you can do, and you might have seen this in here already. Where is it in my inventory? Where is it? So this is horizontal dirt, and I'm guessing that grass will not grow on top of this dirt. So... I'm going to leave this. I'm actually going to put 
a couple pieces down here and use them as tests, but I want to see if grass can actually grow on this. And if it can't, then it'll probably mix well because I want it to stay like this. So we can actually just go in and mix in a couple of these pieces and it'll, although it's more gray, it'll break up the dirt a little bit, the happy dirt. And it's, it's very subtle, but you guys will be able to see once you take a step back and look at it. So I'll show you in a second. You see, you can see the little gray dots in there occasionally. I think that looks good. And it is looking like grass does not grow on top of it, which is very good for us. So it'll stay as this kind of dirt. And if you guys don't think that this pathway looks good, just let me know in the comments because... You know, this is going to be the pathway for majority of our base, so, you know, changing it now would be a little bit easier than changing it once there's multiple pathways in place, although there are already two, but they're really close together. So, I want to throw a little bit more of this, like, regular dirt in as we close in on this, just because the gray will match the stone a little bit more. And it's almost as if there's shards of stone in the dirt. You know, if you really start thinking about it on a deeper level. So some of these I actually think would look better with just normal dirt placed in them. So uh, I'll probably go through and toss some normal dirt in a couple of these places to break up the path a little bit. And then I think we'll be good so grass should grow on those right there and these are pretty good test subjects to say that grass will not grow on the pieces we just put down so we'll get some grass growing in here just to break up the dirt just a little bit and that should be good it'll have to wait until the grass actually finishes growing but now I want to start throwing down these saplings so I don't know what the trees will look like uh, when they grow closer together, but I really want it to be like a densely wooded area. So I'm just going to throw a, a decent amount of trees down. No, that's, that's a little bit too close. Decent amount of trees, and I'm going to go around and just bone meal them, bone meal the hell out of them, and see what it ends up looking like. And if we hate it, then we can go back and change it if we like it we can keep doing it so like one or two over here right there so got a lot of bone meal here wow that thing is just that thing might be a problem see the question is how do I know when it's gonna grow or not when am I just wasting bone meal we'll go out front first these should be easier to grow Yep. And I guess I could probably just leave some of these sitting sitting around here. But see I like the way that looks. I like the way it looks a lot. Wow, you see you get like nothing from this. The bone meal nerf is strong in this game. If we don't have any more bone meal, I'll plant a lot of them and I'll just let them grow while we work yeah so it looks like we're gonna have to just let them grow on their own so we'll throw these down around here decent amount and it's mainly the front of the house that I want to have a lot around because you know if we're not walking around the area much then it doesn't really matter if there's a significant amount of trees there so that should be good for now and the last thing that I want to take care of is uh, putting this stone down around this area here and see I think if we had a little bit more real dirt in here to look look pretty pretty good so some of the grass has grown grass will grow there and there Get some grass growing there because I might have I might have slightly overdone it, like just a slightly, just slightly. So these trees will grow. Yep. 
And you can see the horizontal dirt there. I might have to change that because I'm not sure if I'm really a fan of the, the dirt being being like that when you can actually see it. But So what I wanted to do was I want to actually replace like a significant portion of this up here with stone. But I also wanted to, and here I'll just start chucking this down up here. Cover this nasty, cover this nasty stuff up. Oh, that's why I couldn't place it there. Okay, I see. So let's see how that looks. Yep, and then we'll gradually slope it up up here. Yep, okay, so it looks good on that side. And now we got to bring it up a little bit over here. Wow, it is really dark over here. I have to like, actually sit forward in my seat to see this. And... Nope. Let's bring it up a little bit over here to gradually even it out. Okay, so... Let's take a step back and look at this. Yeah, so it doesn't look like a weird like stone area jutting out. It actually looks like you carved into the side of a mountain. And I may add some cobble around here in general. Another thing that I really wanted to do was uh, just take like random chunks like this and put some stone in. So it kind of looks like it, it blends with the grass. Like it's dirt and grass. Or I mean dirt and stone and and all that good stuff. And I don't I don't know if it'll look good, but it might be able to. It's what I was talking about last episode when I said you can make like a gradient between the two. Uh, I just want to kind of see what it would what it would look like. It won't be anything huge though. And I may actually make like an obvious staircase going up there eventually. Kind of like a, it'll still be stone, but it'll be a gradual staircase using the micro blocks. Just toss a couple pieces in over there. Maybe one like right here, and one like right there. And a couple up here, and then we'll be, we'll call it a day on this project. So let's take a step back and look up there. I actually like the way that looks. I like it a lot. Looks a little bit more gradual. Uh, the path is something I'll have to mess with because I'm gonna be honest, making it thicker dirt really still isn't isn't sitting well with me. But maybe it'll look better once we got some trees. Uh, I'll work on the trees off camera. So we'll see how that goes. So when I come back next time, the trees should be good. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on uh, both this pathway down here and on the, uh, the path itself and the blending. So if you guys have any feedback on that, as usual, I will always take it into account. And like I said last episode, the feedback has been phenomenal in this uh, building type series so far. And uh, I just want to thank you guys for all the positive feedback you've given me on building for more visual stuff rather than just efficiency. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give it a like. Uh, uploading every single day, like I said last episode, in case you missed it. So be sure to check back every day for more episodes. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys later.